Welcome back everybody, this is Dave the Gamer. I uh, modified my channel name just to be a little bit easier to say. Uh, but today we're going over the much anticipated TSM4 add-on that I've been promising. I'm going to make it a part 2 video, otherwise we could literally be here for about 3 hours hanging out and let's face it, we no, none of us want to do that. Um, and on top of it, I am going to do a little small giveaway. I'm going to give away a $10 Amazon gift card to one of my lucky subscribers. So all you have to do is be sure you're subscribed, like the video, and leave me a comment. Let me know, you know what you think of my content so far or maybe ideas you actually want to see. And then on March, I'm sorry, March 3rd at 5 p.m., so next Tuesday from this upload, I'm going to post who actually won and I will email you the $10 Amazon card. I know it's not a lot of money. I'm pretty broke and it's only 100 subscribers, which I'm very thankful for. I'm trying to grow fast. Um, so later on when I hit 1,000, 5,000, uh, the giveaways are just gonna get bigger. So subscribe now, make sure you don't miss out and I'll keep you updated. Uh, like I said, next Tuesday, March the 3rd on exactly who won. But let's get right on into this video. So I would like to go over a couple different things in this one for the TSM4. Uh, mainly I'm going to go over a little bit on how to download, like things to know, the ledger, how the, the sniper tool works, and great deals. So part two is going to go more over the grouping, how to win buyouts and bids, how to use TSM4 for a little bit on professions. I have a whole separate video for that coming out. Um, and then how to post items. So there is so much more to go. There's operations and I'll make further detail. First, we need to go over the basics before I get into some of the crazier stuff. And I don't know everything about it. I think I've just scratched the surface, but I know a pretty good bit. Um, so how to download, you're just gonna type in TSM4 uh, in Google. It's not on Twitch. So you have to download strictly from their website and it's a two part add on. Uh, one is the actual add-on for the game that you're going to have to add into your add-ons WoW folder. And then the second one, it's an add-on that basically runs behind the scenes on your desktop at all times. And what it's doing is uh, when you log into the game and you do a search, it saves that data. So it's a little bit you're going to have to register your email. You're going to have to um, create usernames, passwords upload what server you're going to. So it's a little bit uh, to actually get into it, but once you start going, it's easy. So the second part I wanted to go over was the actual ledger. And what I mean by that is your little icon for the trade skill master, your ledger, like I said, there's lots to go into in here and I'll go in a little bit more detail later. Uh, but the ledger basically shows you across all of your characters uh, how many items you have, what items, their values. So like right now between all my characters, I'm at 11.5. And if you watched my video on investing, I think it's gonna be a lot more in later phases. So you can filter any of these and see, you know, kind of track, you know, how much you're investing in. Am I buying too many? Should I stop and invest in something else? So it's a little spot. And within here, you can see kind of, you know, what your cells are, where you're making your money. So if I see I'm selling a ton of elixirs of brute force, I know that's a good item to keep selling. On the flip side, if I see, if I go to failed auction and I see the same item always failing, I'm not gonna post it for a while or I'm gonna sell it super cheap. You don't wanna waste your money. And then your expenses will actually go into, you know, where I'm spending all my money recently. Cause sometimes I wake up after a long night of, you know, a couple of drinks and like, where did 300 gold go? And I look in here like, man, I have an issue. Um, so I wanna go over in detail what the actual tool tip does. So once you download this, it's gonna be on all of your characters. So we'll start at the top. So you're gonna have your vendor here. I'll go over a, a different item here. Um, let's move it here so you can see easier. There we go. Uh, so you see, starting at the top, you see the disenchant value, the vendor price, inventory is how many um, is across all of my characters and underneath it shows what character has them. 
it showed what I purchased it for. So I purchased it for seven gold, like how long ago I purchased it. And then the bread and butter of it is like minimum buyout market value. So it, I believe it's over the last seven days is what that average is and based off what's in the auction house. Historical prices over the last 90 days. The big thing that I like to see is when I bought this item, no matter what it says for like the other aux add-on and stuff like that, no matter what it says for minimum buyout and market value on your server, not always the case. So you can inflate that price, especially if there's not a lot on the market. Someone could ask a ridiculous amount of money and you don't know what it's worth. The regional market value, what it actually does is it looks across all of the servers as a whole. So. I, like when I bought that for seven gold, I'm looking, oh, the market value on other servers, 31. I'm probably gonna make a profit. But if across other servers was like one gold, then I'd be like, wait a second. So it saved me a lot of times on when I almost bought really expensive items thinking it was a deal, but really it was inflated. And then a week later you find it for five gold. So it's a nice little thing to have. And then if it is something able to be crafted, uh, let's like go over this. Uh, so you see what the TSM auction price is. We're looking here at the bottom. So the crafting cost is 66 silver and it's selling for a gold and a half. So it shows me my profit of, you know, 79 silver. But you got to keep in mind that right now the minimum buyout at a gold and a half, that's pretty inflated. It's, you, the market value is usually a gold. So you might be able to sell some. I would really only factor market value. Um, but still, you know, I'm still making 30, 40 silver on that. So that'd, that'd still be a good investment. So the next part I want to go over is the sniper tool. So the sniper tool, this is what a lot of people talk about. You can change how this works. I don't find it too crazy for the bid portion. So I would hit run bid. So what the sniper does is I believe it looks at the, the most recent 10 or 20 pages on the auction house and it's looking for something that the bid is super cheap and the buyout is higher. But you have to keep in mind, you, you always wanna do a triple check when you're doing this system. So I wanna look at what the actual market value is, which is about nine, you know, nine silver. It's 200%, but it's still nine silver. But being realistic, I mean, what do you like the chance of you getting that okay even if you do like it's not even worth it so i find a lot of junk items in here that i don't even mess around with and then especially if it's you know 24 hours out the chance of getting it is next to nothing now the sniper buyout uh, tool here is a whole different beast so you can change in here exactly well you can make a sound so when something does pop up it like notifies you so if you're watching Netflix it like gives you a little quick reminder because you could go hours nothing pops up but like I said it's the the most recent 10 or 20 pages I've gotten some stuff in here where someone accidentally posted something for you know two gold but they meant to put 200 gold so I bought it so fast that they didn't even have time to actually go back in and cancel it that's why it's called a sniper tool you're, you're catching mistakes but a lot of people knowing this, a lot of people are doing it. So you have to be quick. But before you just hurry up and buy something, you still want to like look at the market value, look at what it is, what's the percentage. So you got to like do a quick uh, evaluation to see if it's a good deal before you hurry up and buy it. So be careful on that. Now, another thing. So if you were going to, I love these guys. So I, I think they're a great company and everything. So I wanted to invest in their actual products. So this is all free download. The paid version of it, how I said there's an add-on on their de on the desktop. You pay, I think I paid $30 for the month, or sorry, $30 for the year. So like three bucks a month. And that will automatically store my updates. So even when I don't hit, so if you ever want to scan the market, TSM scan, Whoop. TSM scan. So that will scan the market and throughout the day when you're picking up items, you'll see what the, the a pretty current price. With paying for it, it automatically does that throughout the in entire day without me ever having to scan the market. So it's a little bit convenient. And the second thing you get, and I am not sponsored by them, I just love this add-on. So I didn't mind paying $3 because I make hundreds of gold 
from this add on easy uh, is you get this great deal search. So when you click on a great deal search, same as the uh, sniper and whatnot, and this is only for the paid version. And I wanted to go into because I, I do uh, recommend this if you if you are serious about making a bunch of gold in investing and buying and flipping items, this is a great one. I think it checks 10 or 20 pages, same deal. It might even check more for this portion of it. And it's looking for the cheapest possible items. Like look at this, 5% of value. Same deal, you have to keep in mind, like look at it as far as, I, if I look at the regional price only being 50 silver, you know, this isn't a good deal. So not all these are good deals, but when you look at some things like this blood spike, you know, cross servers, probably four gold. So yeah, I could probably flip that for double the profit. That's not enough for me. These bottom half, they never sell, so don't fall for this item. I always I bought a bunch of them and it's no good. It's not always like you're gonna come in here and find the best item. I've been investing in like a lot of these cards because they come through here. You know, I could pick it up for seven gold across the servers. It's saying it's between 23 to 42. I got like 20 of each card right now. So they're, they're definitely a good investment, I feel like. But you will find uh, some good stuff pop up in here. Like this dagger right now, stupid cheap, 28, uh, you know, it's going to sell for, I want to say about 12 gold. So I'll double my money on this and I'm doubling it on, so I want to buy the cheapest one at six gold. Um, so you're doubling your money and it's, instead of making two gold, I'm making six gold. So that's a little bit more worth it to me. So you're not always going to find good deals, but I like to check this thing once or twice a day. There are some dumb items that come in here because people just ask crazy prices. So I've, I mean, just through this little portion, I probably make, I don't know, I want to say 100 to 200 gold a week just buying items and then turning around and flipping it days later. So this, it's a nice little spot. But I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to start making my next part two of this video where I'm going to dive in more deeper on how to add items to like grouping, how to win buyouts, like I said, professions, how to post items. So this was just a general of, you know, kind of what the buttons do, how to download and everything like that. And like I mentioned, make sure if you do want to win the $10 Amazon card, subscribe, like, and I'll have like an automated generator thing. Pick the person on Tuesday, March the 3rd uh, at 5 p.m. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And until then, guys, take care.